How's it going people? Welcome back to another episode of the Here's the Crack podcast. We are back, we are in the studio and we are ready. We are, Shay's got pretzels. Tommy has just digested a cookie. I've just had a Marvelous Creations Cadbury. So it's all good. Arn, what have you had? I've had my fifth can of monster. There we go. He's hyped. He's ready ready to go. His heart is pumping. (sighs) It's my seventh. It's my my sixth. (laughs) But anyway, we'll not get too held up. We'll get straight into Strange and Startling. Here we go. I wanted to talk about, because when this episode's going out, um, it'll be around the time where it's like appropriate to talk about new films, where we're not giving away too many spoilers, because if you haven't watched it already, you're dumb. But we can talk about it. What the heck is this Five Nights at Freddy's? Because I don't know about you, but it's been all over my TikTok. Like, all this, like... Five Nights at Freddy's like mashups and people have done like these like edits and stuff and I did not know it was like I remember it coming out but I cannot remember it being such a like a big thing until recently I found out there's like a proper like cult following. So did that only come out like a week ago? No like the movie came up come out well at the time of recording this the movie came out a week ago by the time this airs it's probably been out two weeks yeah but like obviously it was a game like it was a it was yeah. like Five Nights at Freddy's was a game, which I knew was a thing. But when the film came out, I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I was talking to you and Livy the other week, and Livy was like, oh, there's a proper, like, there's a, like there's videos of people going stone mad yeah. in the cinema after, like, the ending of it. And I'm like, I didn't realize this was so big. Why are you stone mad? Like, scared? Or? Like, I don't, well, you've, uh, you're our inside man, Aaron, because I, you actually went as of yesterday this at the time of recording this you've watched it last night yes what was your thoughts in in a in a rating uh, in a rating i would probably give it a solid six out of ten. Oh, right. um, oh great then <laughs> no, like, and, oh and that's with me actually playing five nights at freddy's as a teenager and watching youtube videos about it and stuff like that and actually being back in the day semi-interested in it so you're proper invested in it wouldn't say proper invested now anyway but i thought this is something from my teenage Child, years yeah, i'll yeah. go and see it just as a nostalgic thing and um honestly i think the only way you'll enjoy the film is if you actually cared about so i remember at the time like youtubers like pewdiepie and stuff like we were probably 14 13 14 at the time i remember watching them and they played it yeah. and i remember being like holy moly like, this is a this is scary mm. but now it's a film but I like I, I didn't actually realize like i just thought it was like your typical like slender man yeah. like, like a, a horror game uh, yeah so basically you are a security guard mm. at this like, it's kind of like a fun factory and you have to monitor <laughs> these cameras fun. and every like you look at a camera and then if you like l- look away or like let lose power the machines they're like bears they mm. move and they're coming for you that was all i knew it to be but that was, then that was the first game yeah upon is now what the film is like it's like a proper adaptation and like pro it, like it's like a proper story now yeah well i mean before the film there was 13 games and there was and, and there's and there's been 28 different graphic novels made of it so it is a Jesus it's a, it's a big thing novels like, yeah graphic novels and mm-hmm. like comics wow um it's <clears> big <throat> within teenagers the problem is because it's for teenagers they couldn't make the film very scary mm. yeah and that was probably its biggest issue because it's just kind of how do you translate a game where you're just playing five nights you play first night second night third night up until your fifth night in a game and then translate that into a film the problem is they always have to go into the daytime and then you're just watching this dude go about his life yeah it's just a bit sort of was that what happened in between the nights then or yeah so they tried to do some stuff with it um yeah like people he met lore that he was trying to get about him his backstory because it all kind of ties together at the end um so they had to give it a narrative on top of a narrative basically yeah because the game just wouldn't suffice on its own no it, it just wouldn't i i shaggy I think out of scooby doos in it yeah he's the villain mm. he's the villain he's oh, the villain freddie yeah. prince jr oh no shaggy no I that's sh- fred <laughs> i've seen clips yeah. of it like what's like uh, your favorite movie adaptation or game adaptation i liked uncharted mm. Mm. i really liked it that was good never watched it door the explorer it's fucking uh, nice. i've <laughs> never played the game but like i feel like was tom holland the right pick well? 
yeah, for oh, for Uncharted. I think he was. Is your boy in the movie, like in the game, not more like manly though, like more of a like older man? No, that was Mark Wahlberg's character. I'm not. Oh yeah, yeah actually, yeah, Drake. He yeah. might have a point. Yeah, The Witcher was pretty good. Mm. I know it's not a movie, but I've watched. never actually played The Witcher. I th- Has anyone watched the Assassin's Creed film? No. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't not really great. like it. No. I feel like they should have just done the Desmond story. Yeah. In a movie. <laughs> They just tried to explain <laughs> it too much. I just remember in high school when he was called Desmond, like, it's such a random name for the assassin. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember. Desmond the assassin. Desmond on that too. The thing that I didn't really like about Assassin's Creed is they tried too hard to explain what was going on as opposed to just letting the story speak for itself. Mm. That's my person. But what I'd love to know, going back to Five Nights at Freddy's, is what is like, because I'm watching TikToks of boys going pure mad at the end of it, and I'm like, what is the hype? It's probably kids who are a fair whack younger than us who grew up on YouTube. Yeah. So they were very young, maybe like really early on primary school when maybe I was watching Markiplier playing Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time when I was 14, 15, 16. Um, these guys were very young and on YouTube and, and, and watching it. So Five Nights at Freddy's, they've kind of grown up with Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. And you know what fandoms are like? You know, you know what the Star Wars fandom's like. It's really toxic. It's you know, everyone's a complete <laughs> yeah. brat. Um, <laughs> Say it how it but is. But it's true because someone will go, "Well, this is shit because it didn't go my way." Yeah. And then the next person goes, "Well, your way's fucking bullshit." And yeah. I would prefer it this way. And then they get really passionate about it, and then they argue with each other. Did you see the clip of them fighting? Yeah. There was what? Like absolute, like, like at the end of Five Nights at Freddy's, there's a clip going around of just ones beating the. Shit out of each other. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. But that's what I'm saying. Like I'm seeing all this happen, and I'm like, I didn't realize. I thought this was just going to be like a a flash in the pan movie release. Yeah. But people are proper like I'm loving it. Like, and it's well, weird. Yeah. There's going to be two more. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that so this one was mostly based on the first game. Yeah. We better lower from the rest of the games and. Uh, they said if it did well, they're going to release yeah. two more, and it definitely but has done well. So I do, I do get. Seems like a low budget film as well. Yeah, they didn't really the car, the the cast they had in it, like like there wasn't a lot of marketing or whatever went into it. So like you'd imagine it's probably going to yeah. make a bank, like off it. Like the main guys have got Hunger Games. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say, oh, I was about to say he was yeah. also in Bridge to Terabithia. Mm. If you've ever watched it, he's in loads. Oh of films. yes, yeah. he was like proper big time. Yeah. Like he was like. Tom Good child Holland. actor, yeah. Late two thousands, Tom Holland, like. yeah, like he was massive, and he just sort of went away. Yeah, but I do get what you're talking about about fandoms, how obsessed they can be. Because I remember going into Spider Man, uh, No Way Home, and sitting down, and it was the opening night, and boys were proper dressed as Spider Man to watch Jesus. it. Jesus, and I was like, <laughs> right, and then we sat down, and I was just sitting chatting to Lucinda, and I, I remember looking at Lucinda, being like, I was so excited. Because it was like the first, like you knew, me and you were pretty psyched yeah. about it. Because it was the per- first proper film after Endgame where you were like, this will be good. And the guy leaned over and was like, oh, man, I'm so excited for this. And I'm literally just after reading that like Tom, that uh, Andrew Garfield and Tommy McGuire in it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you. You can't. You, fucking you little can't. asshole. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to chat about that because honestly... Any it bemused me. Like, it actually actually was surprisingly quite a cheap film to make. It cost twenty million, which in the film business is that's pretty. Would, would, you would class twenty million as low budget. That was make money, like. Well, it's already made on its opening weekend. It's made one hundred and thirty six million. Yeah, easy week. dub. Easy. So don't see a lot of that anymore. No. If you look at the Barbie movie and all. I'm pretty sure they lost money like, or like spent. They didn't lose money, but they spent an insane. They spent a lot of, of money in yeah. marketing. Like. Mm. Um, what other fandom movies are good? Or like Point game on movies. Oh, right. game movies. The new it's kind of it's four kids, but the new Super Mario film was fun. Yeah, it was good. So uh, it got slated a lot though. Hmm? It got slated a lot. Every video game film will get yeah. slated because I the, thought it was really good. I yeah. thought the animation was unbelievable. Oh, like, it looked really good. Class. I remember you saying to me about it, and I was like, mm. and then yeah. I actually watched it. I was like, this is very good. Yeah, I feel we like went to see it in the IMAX and the colors and ah, oh, and I feel like. A fucking child saying that but it just was so vibrant and beautiful to look at it was really? just it was just a fun time like yeah. i think that'll just be i think that's how you need to judge kids films yeah you know you don't go in like it's martin Scorsese. i must i must admit a big indiana jones fan growing up was very disappointed by the the last one mm. i think they should have just left it 
Sometimes um, I have to just let die. The, they didn't let this one die, and I was pre- I was stoked. I was I was like, this is gonna be class, mm. and I was really impressed by the start of it, where they de-aged Harrison Ford. Uh, if you haven't watched Indiana Jones, by the way, and you, like it literally was like a big part, like it was a big part of my childhood. Like it was massive. It was like equivalent to Marvel. Like I loved Indiana Jones. Seriously, I had all the Lego sets. I was obsessed with it, man. I had a whip and all. <laughs> you're, yeah. literally, you're literally raw out of friends. Yeah. Like, literally, <laughs> I was obsessed. And then the new one came out, and I was actually pretty stoked about it. Like because um, they de-aged Harrison Ford at the start, and I thought it was really, really, really good. And then it just got ridiculously far fetched, and I was like, "Indiana Jones films were all <laughs> so all, that for realistic." All, no, like, yeah. It was almost yeah. like far fetched, but like kind of within the realm of like, okay, like it wasn't like a superhero. But this one. one, they pretty much like they went through a cloud in the space and time, and then went back to like two hundred and forty AD. So fast and furious, and you're like, yeah weird. It's like but everyone's doing like different universes and time yeah, travel now. Films, yeah. am I right? But anyway. What else is strange and startling? What's happening in your world? Um, I go, you go, you me go, me go, you go, me go. Yeah, I've got, got one here. Okay. A teleportation device erected in New York to transport people from America to London. What? What? Sorry, for re- ex- is this for real or? Yeah. Sorry, what? It's for real. Obviously, it doesn't. You lost me erected. Um, <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, an, a an, teleportation device erected in New York to transport people from America to London. Teleportation is at the top of most people's superpower wish list. A super quick method of movement is unfortunately still no closer to becoming a reality, but this seems like the next best thing. Travel booths were erected in the middle of New York by Marriott Hotels to allow people to get a taste of teleportation. User, users could have a mooch around London's 183 meter tall skyscraper, skyscraper, Ta- skyscraper tower 42 without forking out for a flight. It's basically uh. like a booth where you put on like an oracle for your headset. But the headline got me. <laughs> but it's like, how big do you think VR is going to become? That's the reason I mm. brought this up. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot, like I've seen a couple of different things now of people like wearing the headset, but it's like, you know when it actually shows you your environment, but then it'll have like a TV screen. I'm like, that's just weird. Like, yeah. Like I've seen one, someone playing Spider-Man, but they were like, you could see their like garden or living room or something. And I was like, why? They were like, had Spider-Man on there and then like fucking Spider-Man the movie on the right screen. And right. I was like, the, why? Like, why? I, st- I still feel like it, like the VR thing, still feels a bit like a novelty. Yeah, um, I think it's a. Well, the, what way did the Apple one go? That whole they partnered with Ray Bonds, didn't they? Did they? Get? No, that's Facebook. That's Meta. Facebook. Yeah, so yeah. Ray The Apple one's not really it's VR released. though. It's more. Like Is it released? AR. It went bad down really badly. Like. It's, it's, I haven't heard anything about America. it recently. It's in America. It, it at the minute it's not released over here. I, I personally think the VR movement is like what has always been a thing for the like I can remember the early days of working at Carphone Warehouse we had VR headsets where you put you watch 3D videos on YouTube and like it was just a box you put in your head yeah. and I think like now looking at it from now being out of like the tech industry as such I'm looking at it and going okay I feel like everybody's gonna think this is a gimmick until things like that start to happen until there's an actual use for it where companies will start to integrate it within PR and, and marketing and then Bring like you have AI the likes yeah there. you have the likes of what you've just explained there. Like people can go and like visit, you know, you know, certain areas and it and it's a realistic experience. I think it'll catch on. But I do I don't know how Yeah, well it's funny that you mention it because the university that I went to uh, has just developed a literally we're talking like two or three days ago they released it and if you're a student who's working from home or working remotely from somewhere else, you can stick a VR headset on and you can like walk around the the actual campuses of uh, of, of my university and go to classes. Is this in real time? This is it's it's a one to one ratio thing, and it's in it's not in real time. It's not the real campus. It's a three D model of the campus. Yeah. But you'll be able to go into one of the lecture theaters, one of the classrooms, and sit down and like the lecture will play mm-hmm. in front of you as if you were actually there 
it still like, seems a bit gimmicky to me. Why would you not just do a Zoom call, like just watch it on Zoom or watch a video of the lecture? That's what I'm thinking. It's kind of. I suppose it gets you, you focused though. Like you know, if you're watching a Zoom call, like you'd be doing other things around you and stuff. Whereas if you have the headset on, I don't that's think where you no. are. Like you're it's more immersive, through, like, like, like walking through the classroom to get the class, I don't, and you can just I fucking open your laptop. Like I just mean in the like the lecture theater, like it's quite immersive. <laughs> if you could ask questions and shit too, you're not be good. On VR. I feel like it's still in the stage of being a tech demo isn't it so yeah. it's like it's like let's see how far we can go it's a bit like ai ai is still kind of in a weird transition phase at the mm. minute um i'm just thinking about a vr experience of us going into like a lecture at jordan's time <laughs> going over the speed bumps and all like, going <laughs> getting like a ticket from <laughs> the yeah, car park the bit, running through the hallway you know? um, where do we go the yeah, apple yeah. vr headsets three and a half grand it's fucking three thousand five hundred dollars who's buying that like honestly i don't think it's out the next year but I think it didn't. Think, I don't think it went down too well on the first announcement because of the price point. Like, yeah, yeah, and I just feel like the features are really like. Mm. It's it's not really VR headsets are just they're too bulky and they're not something you're gonna wear. Like the whole thing, the Apple thing was like you could see whenever people are approaching you and all that, mm. but like you're not gonna walk down the street with that on your head. Like, I think it needs to become well, like what be more fa- slim, like. Facebook's trying to do, but with more of the like what you can do on an actual VR headset. Like, theirs is just Ray-Ban glasses. So they've just partnered with Ray-Ban so you can ask things. Yeah. So, like, the whole demo, like, Mark Zuckerberg done was, like, he was, like, at a top and he's, like, oh, there's a leak here. How do I fix it? Ask on Facebook and then it'll lock it up like, based on what you're seeing. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. But, like, there's ones, like, when people go into, like, the Eiffel Tower, they're, like, oh, tell me about the Eiffel Tower. Or, like, hey, Facebook, tell me about the Eiffel Tower. And you're, like, you're not really going to do that, look. Yeah. No. No. That's a bit weird. There will be people that does it, but they'll not be normal. Yeah. But they'll basically be hey, tech, Facebook. like... <laughs> Tell me more about the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I think it'll just be, like, weird, like people who just love, like, the the gimmicky tech. Mm. There's always mm. going to be people like that. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. When the Apple Vision Pro comes out, I'll, I'll, if I have the money, I'll be buying it. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. Three and a half grand. You're yeah. a mantle. Yeah. Definitely. It's like a, it's it's like a, it's more like a computer. Though. Why not? Look up, look up the, fe- like look up the features of it there. Why? What why would you? Bu- why? Why are you going to buy it? What attracts you to it? Um, I just like. Or is definitely watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same reason I bought an iPad when iPads first came out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like what use do you have for an iPad? It's to re- it's it's just the next step in personal computing. You know. <laughs> would you have an iPod on a MacBook Pro? Yeah, man. Yeah, would you? Why? Yeah. I I've had a, I've had I have an iPad and MacBook. When do you use flexing. your iPad? I used the iPad for uni, um, You're not because in uni it was anymore. it was easier. I now use the iPad exclusively for um, Netflix and uh, watching stuff when I'm bored. <laughs> meant to be doing other stuff, like and then to be fair, I have the thing where you can drag and drop. You know, the screen you can screen share and all. So it's essentially another monitor now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I had it during uni, like tech notes and stuff, like because the MacBook was too big, and then I used the MacBook for editing, like photo mm. editing and stuff. Like, but now, like now, bearing in mind the iPad I have is like a ninth generation iPad. Yeah. Now we're on to like whatever, like fifteenth generation, and they're pretty much a, a tablet. You know what I mean? You've seen so. a new Mac, black MacBook Pro. Yeah. Yeah. So it happened. Yeah. This is not a black one out before. Ages ago, they're always someone spe- freaking out about this. Gray, gray, yeah. They're never black. Yeah, it kind of looked a bit space like gray. They hype it up so much, you're like, holy fuck! Yeah, the f- bl- they don't like a two minute video just to release the color of it. It's like. just a yeah. black laptop. Anything strange and startling with you? Mm, I think I'll tell you story. Oh, so he has it in his notes. A restaurant in the US is charging some of its customers for their inability to control their children while they dine there. Hmm. Good. Hidden away at the bottom of its menu, the Tacoa Riverside restaurant tells its diners of its adult surcharge, adding three dollar signs next to the words. For adults unable to parent, the menu adds no respect, no service for some diners. They found out the hard way, saying they were saying they were sprung with charges like they tried to settle their bill. Mr. Kyle Landman left the review online, said the owner came out and told he was adding an extra fifty dollars to my bill because of my children's behaviour. Well, what was his children doing? He said that he, in his opinion, that they were being pretty well behaved. Yeah. But he sort of did know of the sur- about the surcharge before from previous, but he said that 
the owner came out and he said they were being too loud like they weren't running around or anything like that they were just too loud and, and like distracting other customers this is controversial mm-hmm. what is your opinion on this because i normally have no issue with kids yeah. kids will be kids i am not a parent therefore i do not respect what it means to be a parent you have an understanding of however it. i was in a pretty reputable resort and spa mm-hmm. having some uh spa like treatment <laughs> and was relaxing and then screaming wains were jumping in the pool and i was a bit like mm. but then <sighs> if, my uh, argument would be why do you not book an adult only hotel mm. Yeah, I mean, but like that's a big thing now. I didn't realize yeah. that was a thing, by the way, until yeah. like two years ago when you're like looking up all this. It's like, oh, don't I was like, what sort of hotel? Is no, this? I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not it saying, as in like, I was sort of like, I was like relaxing and stuff, and mm. then you know, the kids came in and they were sort of screaming and jumping in the pool and all. And it was like, for the first like 30 seconds, I was like, oh, kids, you know what I mean? The kids will be kids. I'm I, like, I have a nephew. He, I know what he's like mm. so I kind of don't really care but after I went on for like 10 minutes I was a bit like I don't know mm. you feel like if you were the like if I was a parent I'd be a bit like here Shh. but then it's kids having like I get it in the likes of a restaurant setting but the pool yeah. you know yeah. kids are having fun there they're gonna be screaming and yeah I think it depends what type of restaurant like yeah if you were going mm. to like a really nice restaurant on your it's like an I think you'd be annoyed and you're forking out the money and there's yeah. a fucking family beside you like you'd be like are you fucking serious like, i could imagine going to a restaurant with you and having and kids beside like screaming and shouting and you after a while i think you'd be like and there's a certain time as well after a certain time like <laughs> watershed no kids i know but seriously though yeah. yeah like i'm trying to think like if you went to like somewhere like birch jaws bar in belfast name dropping uh-huh. but like yeah. or the merchant or somewhere like a fucking really fancy restaurant and there was like kids yap on the whole time and you're like yeah. Don't want to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's not really fair. Like, yeah. and you're spending fuck load of money. But then I, oh, I would say, like in the scenario that I was in, like I don't look at the parent and go, oh, "You're, you know what I mean?" Let's say, like, because it's I know kids will be kids. It's such an awkward one because, like, it does kind of spoil it a little bit when you don't have kids. But then because we don't have kids, I don't think we understand. Yeah, kids aren't allowed in the Gallic Warm. I don't know. Interesting. I don't the whole hotel or. Right. What you were talking about, I assume you were talking now that we've mentioned it. Yeah. I assume it was the guy's yeah. arm. Uh, they do swimming lessons for kids in the morning. Uh, but they're not allowed in the spa, are they? In the swimming pool for swimming lessons, yes. Yeah, but the spa, but I don't think. Yeah. I know all them. Well, so I was, I was, I was in the waterbed and relaxing, yeah. like, in, like in the waterbed bit. And then there's the pile of kids just to say, like, we must make three, four Was kids. this what you're on about? Yeah. I thought you were on about your holiday. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know actually yeah the kids don't go in and go to like the fucking no they, they, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't even think kids would be allowed in like no. a hot tub or anything I, think they're they're 16 16 over, I don't think you're mad to take kids like. yeah see no, I, I don't know that's just my yeah, experience that's swimming lessons ah right swimming okay lessons. They do swimming I didn't see an instructor why are you going to kids <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> lying on the water bed <laughs> I, I was lying on the water bed the next but then you never know like it could be like a, a family staying and they're like all kids are allowed in the swimming pool and that's fine could have been just where I was and that's fine. Yeah. If you were a parent though, and you went down on the turn around and said no kids aren't allowed in the pool, you'd be pretty pissed off. Like, yeah. I know. I just think like I've took I've took my nephew out places like and like we stopped in for a bite date and stuff and like I know even like Charlie's relatively well behaved, but like they're like if he was acting up like either me like I if I was with him on my own or like his dad was with him or my sister was with him, they'd be like here Charlie, shh, like quiet down. There's other people around. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, it's a weird one we're not parents so we don't know yeah I think that's um, the conclusion <laughs> I had a bit of an event whenever I was a child don't remember it but apparently we were in the hotel like one night with all my ones and um, I started to act out so whenever I was younger I think it was maybe four so I had this obsession with saying fuck it <laughs> right so when it you were like four it, like four yeah so um, my one said it was almost like Tourette's so um I get like angry and like say, I think I was playing it, playing with toys at the table or something, and they just pissed me off, and I just started screaming "fuck it" and like "fuck it" in this like f- pretty fancy restaurant <laughs> hotel, like, and um, the waiters came down, like you know you need to control him, like, and um, got me settled, then <laughs> it just started again. They said, "Look, we're gonna have to move you to another room here," so they moved us into Seriously? a separate room on our own, yeah. 
So we were put into a room on our own and I was allowed to fuck it away. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So Calls and ruckus in a hotel. That's an interesting yeah, like yeah. You wouldn't want to be the waiter having to go over though. I know. You like, oh, you'd yeah. feel like a dick like. If that was nowadays, we're like, we're going to have to put you in another room. Your parents could have been like, he has Tourette's. Yeah. yeah. A disability. Yeah. 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 And you get away with it. Like. You get absolutely but murky. I know. True. But I thought this, the surcharge is a bit sneaky. I said it's at the yeah. bottom of the menu. The people who aren't or are benefiting from that are the restaurant and not the other people. Yeah, are getting the money because like. it doesn't stop the behavior. No, I don't agree with the. Aye, the behavior's like. over, over before they get the charge. Like that's like. a bit fucked. Like it'd yeah. be different if it was like a room full of like I don't know five, you know, five tables, and they were like, we're gonna surcharge and then discount, you know, others bills so yeah, just be yeah, but you can yeah. Like, yeah. Like, be like right but it's still not right but they should tally at the door if that's the case just yeah. if you have kids be like look this is just what the crack is like lay the law down lay the law hey that's and you're matter. not saying it anything yeah. no so like, you, like surely there's a bit of a like well I didn't know and they're like well it's on the menu and you're like right yeah in fine print yeah, it's a weird yeah, one I actually don't think that is a thing I don't think they can just go and yeah, throw kind of, yeah. stuff on the menu yeah. or just throw mm. stuff on your bill and then what dictates kids acting up or kids just being kids yeah, it's do you know what I mean to your own opinion that's like. my issue on it it's like who yeah. decides where the line is and yeah. if, just if they were looking a bit of cash <laughs> like just say yeah. oh your kid looked at me the wrong way 50 quid yeah <laughs> you know yeah mm. anyway we're not parents she so. off it is what it is. We should move it on here. Anyway, community Keep crack. Here we go. One guy goes, Biomass is buying two packs of four pints. Biomass is buying two packs of four pint cans on a deal so you don't have to buy them next time and finishing them all in one night. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is cracked. I'll see we <laughs> The other day we went and got two things of Copperberg, two 10 packs. I was like, sure, they'll do for a while. But, um, they never ended do. up just got to the weekend and then they were gone like but I, if they weren't there i wouldn't want them like yeah. i did read one that was sent in the 30 minutes at 180 yeah what what is it i, 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 I shared it because i was like gonna read it the first time i was like that makes sense but then looking at it again i think he basically was saying like putting food on that says like oh uh, it's 30, 30 minutes, minutes at 180 if you put mm-hmm. it at like two something and put it at 15 minutes he said 30 minutes at 180 is the same as 15 minutes at 220 in the oven is which I, I kind of get because yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure i have seen something that's like 20 minutes at 180 and i've whacked it over 200 and then went alexa set the timer for 15 minutes i would say there <laughs> I, hope, I hope you're not doing that for like a chicken no it's <laughs> like you're going say to medium or say pizza uh, yeah, well, i would say just bread, like, with that know. maybe maybe 25 minutes at yeah. 220 but not 15 like half the time <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say i just seen orange on <laughs> what orange a minute one for the boy math thing what was it <laughs> and I can imagine this is something. So, Arn, producer Arn replies, believing that I could land a plane if the pilot died. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Look. That's that's my toxic trait, like. <laughs> because not only do I believe that I could do that, I'd probably kill about 300 people in the process. <laughs> Plus, whoever's on the ground. I believe him whenever you're watching a boxing match in the final rounds and he looks racked. Oh, I could knock the fuck out of him now. <laughs> <laughs> that's one, though. Yeah. Oh. Class crack, easy smash. <laughs> um, so we posted about the Titanic conspiracy. Arn talked about was it like two weeks ago? Basically, that the Olympia and the Titanic were swapped, and it was actually the Olympia that sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Mm-hmm. A lot of people believe this is true. I, I couldn't believe it. So I thought you were going to get wrecked. To I've be heard, fair, this is the one I was there, wasn't it? I also got. Yeah, yeah. I've heard this before. That yeah. Someone commented, not a conspiracy, it's f- a fact, single lar- largest case of insurance fraud ever. Can I just That's clear true. something up? Yeah, you just all fucking do this in the comments <laughs> and you are all wrong. Conspiracy? And, and it could be a conspiracy and a fact at the same time. <laughs> They're not fucking mutually exclusive. <laughs> It being a conspiracy doesn't mean it's false. <laughs> He's complaining about that all the time. Arn is reading the comments in the way in this morning because I get in the car and I went, here, boy, your, your TikTok blew up last night. And he was like, what? And I was like, the Titanic one. It's only like 75 gave views. And he, he's straight on reading through the comments. I'm driving to work. And he goes, oh, mate, mate, 
I hate that. I hate that. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, someone said it's truth. I, and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, it can be conspiracy and it can be the truth. The two aren't mutually exclusive. He got pure passionate about it. He's like, I need to clear this up the night when we're recording. Oh, did someone specifically say that's not a conspiracy, <laughs> that's the truth? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> like, fuck me. They can be both. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, someone goes, my great grand knew, knew a guy from the pub, Bob, that worked on it, told us years ago 100% that's what's ha- what happened. There you go. Was it just some guy in East Belfast? I told you. That, that, in its, that in itself could be a conspiracy theory because a guy in the pub, Bob, sounds very generic. <laughs> He's a time traveler. So yeah. there's the conspiracy that, like, with the whole JP Morgan thing, someone says, I'm sure, I'm sure this is why no one is allowed to go near the wreckage anymore. Also, JP Morgan went on to form the bank reserve or something, whatever it's called, and apparently all the people on the boat were against that. Mm hmm. Arn's nodding with an agreement. Yeah, so JP Morgan was in favour of creating a central bank in America. And right. there was a few people on the Titanic who died who were big, massive players in the banking industry who mm. were actually against a centralised bank. A lot of people agree in here. Like somebody yeah. guy goes, Olympic was definitely the ship that sunk. So much evidence, it's ridiculous. JP Morgan and White Star orchestrated the whole swap due to insurance. And someone just goes, so they paid the captain to, to deliberately hit an iceberg, which resulted in his own death. Makes total sense. That that's the only, yeah. I suppose they probably thought, here lad, hit the iceberg and jump in a ship and you'll be grand. It was his final voyage too, wasn't it? The captain. Mm. A lot of sus things on it. Yeah. The Pr- chances of them actually hitting an iceberg too were supposed to be crazy, crazy high as well. Or crazy low. Am I, not, am I not right in saying that it's also the only ship ever to have sank because of an iceberg? Could be. Mm. I'm not sure. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Any other good comments on it? I'm reading here. I see. <clears throat> I see. Basically, there's a lot of people just saying people on the bank on the boat were opposed to the Federal Reserve, and apparently J.P. Morgan like got off the boat. Yeah, he was meant like it was literally like on it and like or meant to go yeah. and like got off like yeah he was he was meant to go on it but a week before his departure he cancelled his trip yeah so he did this by the way to correct the record uh, <laughs> the, t- the Titanic was neither the first ship or the last ship to sink for an iceberg so I'm just talking <laughs> shit <laughs> yeah this has been debunked several times there were visual structural differences between the two ships there we go sure who's down taking pictures of it and there's a lot of people just going. Apparently, the swimming pool on the Titanic still has water in it. <laughs> Where's your uh, love that. <laughs> Very good. Well, I'd love to actually hear if you have any more conspiracy theories. I send think them we in. should do an episode like proper going yeah. into this. Like, turn that, off all the lights. Should off. we do a conspiracy episode? Like, proper a, go into it all in detail. Like, what, I gotta the be Titanic careful. one? Yeah. Okay. Just right. go through okay. it. Okay. Okay. Both sides okay. of the story. I think if you're listening to this right now and you have a conspiracy theory, now not a, just a, a wank conspiracy theory, it needs to be a good one. Like, and you're like, lads, look into this. Let us know, please. Because conspiracy theories seem to be doing well. Mm. People love them. Yeah, People they get love, so, they love hating me. They get so <laughs> invested in them. And we've got our in house conspiracy theorist, Aaron, <laughs> with his tinfoil hat. I didn't ask for that role. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Any so, other comments? I think I've lost right off. Awesome. Right, we'll move on then uh, to uh, another fan favourite, Am I the Asshole? Here we go. This week, I've got two short ones for you this week, lads. Um, Am I the Asshole for telling a good friend that I need some time away from her after she rejected me? Oh, no. I have a good friend who I developed a crush on, and I asked her out. Is this she, yours, or? She said no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you said, oh, no. She said no, and I accepted it. I have been trying to get over her and move on, but every time I talk to her, I feel bad about myself. I told her I want to have some time away from her so that I can get over her properly and bring our friendship to where it was beforehand. She's now pissed off at me and tells me she's not my toy for being available to talk at my whim. I told her that I need to go get myself sorted out and get over her so that we can go back to where we were. I've also apologized to her, but she seems so pissed off at me. Am I the asshole for feeling this way? 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't so. think so. It seems pretty adulty and reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, like, uh, realistically, like, if you, though you were in that situation, you are like, oh, like, and the person was like, oh, I don't feel the same way. You're going to just go back to normal, like. Surely that's, like, the friendship, like, over. Yeah. I, it's, it's a tough one because, like, there's always going to be that animosity hmm. where you're going to think there was something there when it wasn't. Mm. and i think even if you do like how long do you like if your feelings are proper you know real <laughs> mm, real like real hard how are you gonna how are you gonna go away and then come back and it's all fine do you know what i mean yeah i don't think attraction is something that you can entirely just go turn off but then why is she like I don't, like i know it's a weird one like. yeah i feel awkward for her as surely well. she would be like that's awkward i don't want to be friends anymore do you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know I, 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 maybe they were really good friends and friends you know what I mean that's, what's, what's your thoughts he's ruined it but then how do you know mm. until you know but then like you keep that to yourself though. and just stay miserable forever mm. so he really likes her and because he doesn't say how he feels she ends up going off on another fella or girl and he has to live he or she has to live with that for you know have to watch that I think well, he's done the right then. thing and being yeah. like yeah. I want my space though yeah like I think just leave it for a while and see do you know, whereas her being like going in, so she's rejected him and then she's giving him a hard time now. Yeah, for not so wanting to I, be friends with I him. don't necessarily think I've had a little time to think about this because I've seen this today. I have a little, I had a little bit of time to think about it, and I think upon reflection, he has said, I like you, and she has been honest with her emotions and went, Well, I don't like you. Yeah, mm. that's the right thing. That and now like. he's being honest with his emotions and being like, I'm hurt, I need time, and she's like, No, I don't accept that. So he's accepted how she feels. But he hasn't accepted. So, so he's accepted how she feels. She hasn't accepted how he feels afterwards. So I kind of think in this scenario, no, he's not the asshole. I don't necessarily want to label her or this other person as the asshole. But I, I, I do think I there think needs. She's been a bit selfish. Yeah. You know, like let's get deep here. Just, his, his his needs is to go away and not be around her. Fucking after she rejected him, yeah, mm. just fine. Um, but I think her getting annoyed at him for needing a bit of space just a bit sort of I, th- I think mate you need to run maybe uh, she like she's, she's, she's not good oh, for you as mean? a friend or in a relationship just like if she, actually likes if she didn't like him why would she be so fucking caught up in wanting to see him like surely if you'd be a bit like I think there's yeah well they could they could be feeling the same but at different parts of their life well, I feel like we're really over. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, they could be, <laughs> but they, could, but like, they don't really give the age, whereas I would say that's the most annoying thing about Reddit is that they go, I, 33, there's no age on this. this He's this. 33? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, on you know on normal? Oh, I'm yeah, so he doesn't give us age. They, have, g- so they could be 14, very, 15. I don't feel like that really happens. Yeah. It's a very high school thing, like. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They're probably fourteen, like <laughs> fourteen. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. If you're right, I don't think it's there's anything wrong. Like, listen, you've been rejected. Tag it on the chin. But if you need your space, have your space. I think she's just gonna miss the attention, and she's panicking there. Oh. Mm. You just want attention. Oh dear. Mm. Fair, fair, fair though. Um. Anyway, moving on to the next one. This is a good one. I, a 22 female, have a boyfriend, a 21 male, named Jack. We have been together for just under two years. Jack likes anime. A lot. Which is fine. He can like his own things and enjoy things even though I don't like it. But sometimes I feel like it's a little bit of an obsession. He had a shirt with an anime character on it. It was a really old shirt with a hole where the armpit was. But... He would wear it religiously to the point I asked him, can you please stop wearing it out with me? Which he did. But we would get home and he would put it on straight away. I kind of got a bit tired of it. He has plenty of other t-shirts. I didn't see why he needed this one when it was old with holes and and such. So I took it upon myself and I threw it away while he was at work. When he found out, he got very upset with me. Apparently, it was a shirt from his older sister who got him into anime, and she died in a car accident. Oh, a- wow. A- <laughs> I took a turn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this that. This was pretty tame, and then you just threw it off a cliff. Yeah. Oh, just drove off a cliff. You can't laugh about someone's dead sister. That's not funny, like... It was whenever you went, oh, wow. I was just into the story, and then you just I dropped that bombshell. I was like, oh, fuck, right. 
I'm not, I'm not laughing at the death. I'm laughing at his reaction. Anyway. Take two. Apparently, it was a shirt from his older sister who got him into anime, and she died in a car accident about a year before. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. laughing. That wasn't me. That was you, is it? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cut. We're gonna have to fucking dick. Gonna have to cut this out. Are you serious? In this no, matter. I got tired of it. He has plenty of shirts. I didn't see why he needed this one, so I threw it out. Basically, she threw the shirt out. He said he got annoyed because. Uh, it was from a sister and she's passed away jack's family says that it wasn't my decision to throw away the shirt and that i had a lot of and that it had a lot of value to him since it was the last thing his sister got him before passing jack won't talk to me he's extremely down which makes me sad but i feel like they're blowing it well out of proportion <laughs> it's just a shirt he what? has other things he received from his sister so it's not like it was the only thing am i the asshole I think it's going back to the likely story on Am I the Asshole, which is... <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about this. An anime. That's why I wanted to talk about it, because it's like... Anime. yeah. Um, it's going back to the likely... The, 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 the sister not die. Yeah. yeah. It's going back to the normal thing where it's just a lack of communication. Again, they can't talk to each other. <laughs> he sure? just went, I'm going to throw this out because I don't fucking like it. And he's like, I haven't told you about my dead sister. And it's like... Yeah. How what? did they go that long without mentioning them that? Yeah. Like, Surely she'd had to know the so sentiment that's why of. He likes anime. Yeah. Because his sister liked it. So, but no, basically his sister got him into anime and then got yeah. him the t shirt. Right? So I don't think it's the sister getting him into anime that's the problem here. I think it's no, more. No, but I'm the, yeah. Like, I think it's more like he has an emotional why attachment. Why just throw out the t shirt? Because I, I, I think Arn's right. There's a lack of communication there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? No, but it's not hers. But, like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She should have talked to him rather yeah. than just taking yeah. upon herself. She's also. Yeah, I, I agree. I fully agree. Yeah, yeah. I also had this thought earlier on when I was thinking about it, where I went, you know, if it has mad sentimental value, mm-hmm. surely wearing it so much, you're bound to know something could happen to it. Yeah, that have makes thoughts. absolutely no sense. So if I, if you have a very intimate object that's intimate to you, that's like proper important to you would you take it out the house and wear it for its intended use well, it's a so, t-shirt like maybe you feel closer say you have like, you're, like saying oh you're not going to wear your wedding ring out of the house so say you right i'll give you another you scenario doesn't. say <laughs> you're say you had a family member really close to you yeah had a mutual connection to man united bought yeah. you a 97 man united top yeah right. would you wear it out yeah okay fair I what are you gonna do? You just wear it around the house, but not would you not frame it or, or like enough. you know if it was a mad sent and that family member died? I don't think you'd frame it, Unless or like it was the same jersey or something. Okay, I'd probably just still wear it. Yeah, okay. But I you would, don't you would think discuss with your your significant other why it meant so much. Yeah, to yeah. yeah. Surely that's well, came well, up though. Between like them, if they're like it depends. Like. It's special like how long has it been together you know, just maybe it just years. never came yeah. up like if you were wearing a United jersey all the time like yeah if, you're, like you're like if Bruno Turner went oh she, she sports United like if Br- we, we were you'd out be putting her we in were the out the weekend United tar- jersey out huh? you'd be putting her in the Benish <laughs> three United <laughs> jersey out <laughs> we were out at the weekend watching United game yeah. and you wore the 97 United top and Bruno went god Tommy you wear that all the time and you went would that not be the perfect moment to be like actually my dad got me this and it's really important to me and she knows your dad's passed away or something like that there. Your dad has obviously totally. hasn't passed away, R.I. people. But kill like, the vibes. Do you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to that- tell her because it'll kill the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like, I don't think... Like, okay, like, I don't know. Yeah. I think we're just fucking going into this thing. Oh, like, uh, well, this is what Am I the Asshole's all about. We're trying to figure ridiculous out... ridiculous that you're saying you wouldn't wear it out of the house. Like. F- each to their own. Yeah. I think it's Maybe he feels I think it's closer to her wearing it. She should. is an asshole. She shouldn't have threw it out. It wasn't hers. It doesn't matter. Why the fuck are you throwing it out? It's not yours. Yeah, I, th- I think she's categorically the asshole. I don't think he's fully... Like, fuck me. Like, I'm not arguing with you, by the way. I know, but I'm just saying. Like, if he threw out a pair of shoes that her mom died and left her, would, just because he felt like it, how'd that go down? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not arguing with you. you I feel, I feel is, like, has this happened to you? No. Yeah. I just <laughs> think we're just fucking overanalyzing it. Like. She's yeah. an asshole. Yeah, fair Move enough. Move on. Okay, fair enough. That's it. That's how my day asshole for today. So we'll, <laughs> we'll get into question time. <laughs> Here we go. You find a book and begin to read, only to discover that it's your life. You get to the point that you're now at in life. 
Do you turn the page knowing that you will not be able to change the events that come? Not a chance in hell. Would you not turn them? No. Say that again. So you get a book, you start reading it, and then you realize the book is your life, what's happening in your life. So you get, like, say, halfway through it or whatever, and you get to the point you're currently at in life. Do you continue reading and find out what's going to happen next, or do you just leave it? Because what happens next is going to happen. I know, definitely. But you can't change it. You can't change it. So would you rather know I think you'd or not know? keep reading. If you keep reading, you could die the next day. But how could you not regardless, change that, Regardless if you read the book. Well, it's gonna happen. The butterfly it effect. Happen. It's a fucking hypothetical question. You're going to fucking die if it says you die, right? C- can, we also, like you know you die. can we also rewind You're still gonna die. It's five gonna minutes ago to whenever the words... I think we need to stop over analyzing <laughs> comes out of Tommy's mind. <laughs> this is completely different. Like. Yeah, it's completely because it's on his terms. It's life and death. Yeah. <laughs> Makes no sense. I genuinely think if I flicked over the page, you know, what I would find on there is like us discussing more is this girl the asshole <laughs> thrown out the animation. <laughs> 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 I mean, his sister died, like, God's sake. I think it would kill you not knowing what you're gonna do next i yeah it, it would wouldn't, worry it wouldn't, you it to death me, i would burn the book i know I I <laughs> and then i wouldn't have to kill me because i currently don't know what's gonna happen next just kill myself i would you read right on would you mm. but then then what? you know what he's like he would come up with some mad shit he'd be like this is how i'm gonna die so this is how i'm gonna stop it <laughs> and he would know. he would proper like put the effort in for like a week or two and then he'd be like just let it happen. Just let what happens happens. Like it is what it, it is. is what it is. Like fucking okay, nah. Like I'm killing myself for all this stress. I may as well just you know. I don't know if I would. You would. You're gonna know about like family members who are gonna die and stuff too, and things like that. Like you have Bit to think about book, other things. Right? Like hmm? Bit of a long book. It's already cut some that out. <laughs> <laughs> just rip a few pages out of it. Like. I don't, I think curiosity would get the better off me, and mm. knowing my luck, be hard not to. But would you not know by how many pages is left if you want to read on? And if there's only one page left, you may as well throw the fucking book away. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. true, Bill. You're like, here, when when's it getting to my part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what if you turn the page and it just says to be continued. Oh, oh. your story is what you make it. Yeah, what a proper book. deep look. <laughs> I would think that would motivate me. Um, I I think curiosity would get the better off me, and I'd have to like have a little peek. Yeah. I, like lower me, I would probably like fast forward like fifty pages and just scan down it and be like, oh no. I'd maybe look at the contents at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Death and all yeah. looking in the front of it. Like. Just to see what like maybe like more of a Large. general sense what my life has in store. Be- big event. To be fair, if it goes fucking downhill, I might just end it now. You, know? <laughs> you can't change it. Fuck. <laughs> if I try to kill myself and I come back. Feel. <laughs> this wouldn't work. So you just keep re- making that into a show. <laughs> just Everyone's re- gonna read it on then. No. You're no. Gonna, no, I'm gonna set the book on fire and then never think about it again. You're gonna think I about fully it. believe he'd do that. Can't yeah. do that in things yeah. fire, really. <laughs> Spot the environment. That could be the reason you die. You've set it on fire and then you end up setting yourself on what fire. What if that was sent to or someone? At least at and least you just let it on fire. <laughs> It's too, much, it's too much knowledge. <laughs> In three weeks' time, we'd be talking You're about the awesome. asshole. Uh, <laughs> too much knowledge. Anyway, what's your next question? Right, so next question. You're given the ability to pour unlimited amounts of any liquid out of five of your fingers in your hand. <laughs> what five liquids are you choosing and which fingers are the liquids coming from? Five. And why have you chosen those liquids? So you have five fingers on one hand, right? Right. So you're allowed to pour a liquid out of each of them. Any liquid in the world. What is, what's it going to be? Already Go. know. Hit it. Monster pipeline punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just put it that way. Just fucking... <laughs> <coughs> Lava. Why? For my enemies. <laughs> that not be for your enemies. Semen. <laughs> so you've got that out of the middle finger. Why? There, why? Efficiency. 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 You're going to have like 50k of them. Uh, orange just for the morning. Uh, <laughs> 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 Why did you accidentally use the semen finger in the morning? Oops, that's not orange juice. <laughs> and seawater. <laughs> Why? It's good for the sinuses. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Oh, I think we should just end out there. <laughs> the quick, the quickness oh, you man. came out with that. Oh my god! <laughs> You've heard this one, have you? <laughs> <laughs> it was on TikTok there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, like. No, I've never heard that before. Uh, what would I do? Uh, uh, probably do water. Uh, probably do Guinness. Guinness. Uh, whiskey. Oh, Coke. Fuck. And uh, orange juice. Orange juice, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's still thinking about it. Is the girl the asshole for throwing out the t-shirt? <laughs> Anime juice. Coffee would be one. Though. Yeah, that's a good one actually. Mm. Yeah, right. Probably water. That would be a weird coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, tough. Do you want a refill? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why are you figuring my golf? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> just do latte art with your finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you figure in that cup? <laughs> uh, oh my god! One's coffee, one has to be milk. But it's like all in one. Oh, so it's a milky <laughs> cup. Yeah, I didn't think of it. That's cappuccino <laughs> finger, like cappuccino <laughs> finger. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee you? comes out and then it fro- frosts the milk. And all. <laughs> You're doing the fucking art. Is, and it, all that. is it like hot coffee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it burn when it comes out? <laughs> He's already in your unit. I mean, Fuck I'm having lava ah. coming out of this one, so <laughs> presumably Pretty not. Fuck it off. You, can only use it, you can only use it once because your finger burns off. <laughs> Boils all your water coming out of the off fingers and all that. So, coffee, water. You definitely have kids. Probably like, no. You just turn in that alcoholic. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> That's the <laughs> point. Good party trick, though, like. I know, like. You getting low, bro? <laughs> Diarrhea. Liquid ass. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. What are you? What would you pick? I was it. I heard a girl doing it. So I think the first one I'd have. Um, what do you call it? Coke coming out of this one, mm. and then whiskey coming out of this one. So like whiskey and coke, and then petrol and diesel. <sighs> Thought that was a good oh, one. You good. know, you're never gonna fill your car up again. And then red diesel. That was a good one. Yeah, and then this one, water, because then whenever you're going out to people, you can go pew pew water guns. <laughs> Very <laughs> squirted. That's them. good. I liked orange. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll end on there. If you had five fingers and each could squirt out uh, liquid, what would you pick? Let us know in the comments <laughs> below. Uh, until next time, we'll see yeah. you later. Bye. <laughs>